Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today. I'm doing a foundation wear test. I thought while I'm monitoring my makeup, I want to do a wear test of another lip product that I picked up last night. I saw, I've seen these pop up a lot. These have been out, I think in the US since end of 2020, maybe early 2021. Um, but I think they've only recently released in Australia and they're sort of really, they're pushing it a lot in influencers are talking about it ads are talking about it i'm just seeing it pop up a lot on instagram so i wanted to pick one up while it was half price at chemist warehouse because i'm a tight ass and that's how i like to buy my drugstore makeup don't settle for paying full price drugstore like why in australia don't do it it's too expensive um so i bought this last night this is the revlon color stay satin ink in the shade smoke and hot which is the shade number 14. Do I need another orange tone red? No, as I'm filming this, um, I just put up my red get swatched video yesterday and you will know that I've got a lot of these tones. A lot, but this is interesting. It's a lot of people have been talking about it. I wanna try it. It's supposed to be nice and sort of like ink-like and shiny and comfortable and beautiful, but also not really transfer throughout the day. Um, I will read some claims from the website, but um, yeah, I thought it's a perfect day to test this out. I did actually wear it last night for the first time. I think I wore it for a total of maybe like four hours and I was surprised because I was out and about and I was eating and I was drinking and I had ice cream and I was doing stuff and I was like, surely this is smudged on my face. So I kept pulling out my mirror and I was like, no, it looks cool. Put my mirror away. So I didn't have to touch it up once. But when I did come home, I did notice that it was getting a little bit chunky and I had had some on my teeth. And I was like, was that all night? Or is that just after I had ice cream and the ice cream started breaking it down? I don't know. So we'll find out, <laughs> does it transfer onto your teeth? And when was it when I was out and about? Or was it when I was at home or driving home? I don't know, we'll find out. So let's read some claims. So the description from the Revlon website says, surprisingly comfortable, brilliant 16 hour liquid lip color made with black currant seed oil that doesn't dry out your lips. So their claims are, it's supposed to be an unexpectedly comfortable long wear lipstick, contains conditioning, black currant seed oil and vitamin E. It's got color, comfort and wear in one step, flexible formula that moves with your lips to prevent cracked lip color up to 16 hours wear and available in 21 vivid satin finish shades. So it's not supposed to be high shine, it's supposed to be a satin, so it's not supposed to be matte, which is good because I feel like people are sort of over the really dry matte liquid lipstick effect. Something with a little bit of moisture and flexibility is what the market is craving right now and I'm all there for it. Now this doesn't say anything about like transfer resistant, but I feel like whenever people talk about this or have like little videos online, they always do like the kiss test and they always prove that it's like sets and it doesn't transfer. So surprising that that's not a big claim on the website. Um, in terms of price, look, this again, don't buy anything in Australia, full drugstore price. Cause this is at the moment, 1347 Australian dollars um, available at Chemist Warehouse and also the same price at Big W. So there's usually you can find sales. That's 50% off. Full price is $26.95. But if you can get these under 15 bucks, I think like try it and play with it. If you're getting it for like $27, it's a bit, it's a bit pricey. You can buy like a MAC lipstick for just a couple bucks more. So anyway, it is what it is. Let's put this on now. The time is currently 10, let's say 1020. So I don't think I'm gonna wear this for 16 hours. It's not gonna happen, um, but I'm gonna wear it as long as I need to, to see results. Um, I can even check back tomorrow if it does wear like overnight. Um, we'll see, but I'm not staying up until like 1 a.m. or something to, to check in. It's not gonna happen, but I'll zoom in. Um, I did have lip balm on before, but I wiped it off. Let's just look at the tube very quickly. It's this square tube. It's got Revlon, Colorstay, da da da. I love the Colorstay range. I just want to say I love their foundations. I love their eyeliners. So I feel like I should really get along with this. I think feel like my skin chemistry likes Revlon Colorstay range. So there we go. The shade is showing down the bottom. So again, mine is shade 14, but I'll have um, a photo on the screen of all the shades. There's quite a few available. The applicator is quite nice and thin and it's got a sort of swoop in it so it picks up enough product and a bit of a tip. So you shouldn't need a lip liner to get this applied quite smoothly. It's a quite a nice design. Anyway, let's put this on. It's a nice vibrant red. It's got definitely got 
corally orangey undertones. It's another one that's more coral if you prefer coral, um, but it's nice and thin, very shiny. Has a slight sweet, like I want to say orange scent to it. Nothing obnoxious, but you can definitely smell that there's something there. That scoop holds more, so if you feel like you're actually going to be running out, just turn it over and all of a sudden you've got plenty. Yeah, I don't love the scent. It's subtle. It's almost like a chalk orange scent, but really subtle. And I find it a little bit icky. Okay, I just use the tip to sort of buff around the sides a little bit. I find that this really inky formula, if you just sweep it on and smear it out, sometimes you can get like a thicker rim around your lip and that's what can sometimes, um, what do you call it, bleed and sort of go into the lines. So I've just sort of gone in and do a little bit of a blending of that. Gives a beautiful shine. It gives a nice even amount of color. It's not super opaque, so it's actually a really thin coat. Um, but it feels like it feels like a bit of a sticky lip gloss. It does feel a little bit sticky, but I feel like it's going to set a bit better. Again, I can sort of see this sort of looks like the formula that you would need to then put a clear gloss or a clear balm over because it's like that long wear formula that gets sticky. That's the kind of vibe that I get from it just at this stage, but I know that it's not one of those. Um, it's got a nice amount of shine. Again, it's very thin, but a little bit sticky. So you can feel it. It's not like it's you know, forgot that I'm wearing a lip product, I can feel it at this stage, but because the pigmentation is so nice and even, um, I don't feel like I need to build it up, build it up, build it up. A nice thin coat, I think, goes a long way and it's a beautiful color. So I'm liking it so far. I'm gonna give it a few minutes before I try to do like any transfer kiss test um, because I don't want to, I feel like this is the type of product as well that again, if you don't let it set completely, it's gonna sort of chunk off in area. So let's just give it a minute. All right, how long am I supposed to give this? I've given it a couple of minutes. It still feels like I've got a gloss or something. I feel like it doesn't feel as sticky. It still feels thick, but it doesn't feel as like, like it could pull. So let's do a kiss test. Let's have a look. Look, a little bit, but not bad. It's just mainly the shiny top coat that's coming off. Um, so I think it's one of those things that if you just touch your lips, it's, it's not coming off. But I think if you gave it a good rub, it would. But I don't want to do that because I'm trying to see how long it wears. Um, that little part there that was sort of like taken from the inner part, I just feel like that wasn't set completely yet. So the thicker areas might take a good few minutes to um, set. Um, but yeah, the only thing that's really sort of transferring on just a quick press is the gloss. So this could be a really cool lip that you could wear um, under a mask, if that's what you wanted to do, with minimal transferring. But let's see how it wears throughout the day. So check back soon. All right, lip check-in time. Does it look like I've just been wearing this for like 10 minutes? This looks perfect. Still shiny. It's still got a gloss to it. I don't think this is satin at all. I don't know what they're talking about. This is a glossy finished lipstick. And this has been on for like four and a half hours. How is that even a thing? To be fair, I do have a little bit on my tooth. I had a little bit on my tooth before as well and I rubbed it off. So it is one of those things that it, I think because it's a little bit tacky, it sort of can catch on your teeth a little bit. Now, it has been on for four and a half hours, which is super impressive because it looks like it's just been applied. But I haven't eaten. I'm starving. It's nearly three o'clock. We're going to go and have some fish and chips in the park. So I'm going to eat something greasy. We're going to put this to the test and see how it breaks down after greasy food. But with minimal touching and mucking around with, this wears really, really beautifully. All I've really had are some like little bits of chocolate. And also I had a couple of drinks with a straw. It does transfer onto the straw. So it's definitely not transfer proof, but it still looks like it's it's there. Uh, wearing off a tiny bit in the outer corners, that's just movement of your mouth. Um, I do want to say though that I've seen reviews where people have said that this is super lightweight and you can't feel on your lips and you forgot that it's there. I don't feel that at all. I feel like this feels like those really 
um, long wear lipsticks that you do put a gloss or a balm over and they almost feel like they've put like a, like a lacquer plastic film on your lips. I almost feel like that's what this feels like. I can feel that it's on there. It feels a little bit heavy for my liking. And because it's sort of like set in place and doesn't move and has that sort of tacky feel, um, yeah, it feels a little bit, it's, it's constant. I don't mind feeling a lipstick on my lips, but I much prefer to, to use something that's creamier and that you can sort of move your lips together and it sort of move with your lips. This flexes with your lips, but it's like a plastic coating if that makes sense. All right, it's about 5.45 and the lip product is still on, no touch-ups. I was just at the supermarket and the lady at the checkout complimented my lip color and I'm like, thank you, it's been on for like seven hours or whatever it is, longer. It's been on for a long time. Um, it looks really good, um, but it's starting to feel kind of chunky um, and it's starting to wear off on the inner portion. So I'll zoom in and show it to you. It's so vibrant that it looks quite even and it looks fine. But if you do start to look at it, it is starting to break down and starting to get a little bit um, chunky and sort of balling up a little bit. Still not really transferring much. It's sticky, but it's not really transferring. So again, great sort of lip product for a mask, um, but it's not weightless and thin and like I can't feel it. Like I know it's there. I know it's there. All right, time to conclude this review finally. Um, it's been a couple of days. I've had some time to think about this. Uh, I did take some footage at the 12 hour mark, which I'll have on the screen. Um, I didn't want to film, like verbalize anything because I had a sick kid and I didn't want to wake him up. But um, as you can see, it wears really well at 12 hours. There was a little bit of wearing. It was starting to feel a little bit dry. The sort of glossy sheen had definitely worn off um, and it was feeling more like a little bit, not gritty, that's the wrong word, but there was like balling up in some areas after eating. But in terms of longevity, it wore really, really well. And it still looked nice and bold at the 12 hour mark, which was, I wasn't expecting. So I was very impressed with the longevity. Now I do want to make a disclaimer that I'm obviously only trying one shade and it is notoriously a shade that wears for a long time. I find orange tone reds, um, true reds, sort of uh, pink tone reds, corally reds, dark reds, they're always the longest wearing shades in a range. So I can't say that the nudes are going to last anywhere near as long. I can't say that the berries will because they often fade off a little bit more patchy, but the red anyway lasts definitely 12 hours and I'm sure the 16 hour claim is not wrong for the reds. Now I was left a little bit confused about how I feel about this product. Um, for me, the pros are definitely the effect of it. I think it looks really gorgeous on the lips. It's nice and bold. It's got a beautiful shine to it. So if you don't want a like a bold lip, but a matte lip, if you want something a little bit shinier, um, this formula is really, really beautiful. Of course, the longevity is great. It wore through multiple meals um, without fading off too much. There was transferring on straws and cups, but it is what it is. And also it didn't dry out my lips too much. So I was actually at Chemist Warehouse the very next day and I was like, do I pick up more shades? And spoiler alert, I didn't. I was swatching them and I was like, oh look, I could use that coral. It's a really pretty shade. But then what kept coming back to my head was, these aren't super comfortable in my opinion. Um, they are supposed to be comfortable. They're supposed to be flexible with the lips. They're supposed to stay, like make your lips hydrated and all that kind of good stuff. But in my opinion, they feel a little bit heavy on the lips. Um, I do, and I have likened them to that sort of two stage, long wearing lip color thing that a lot of drugstore brands have brought out. I find those feel like you're painting your lips with vinyl and it's just heavy on the lips and it's like suffocating. Now, in my opinion, this is just like an advanced version of that long wearing lip color. So the color sets down quite firmly on the lips um, and then the gloss sort of separates and creates a barrier. So it looks shiny and it doesn't transfer too much, like, like it's transferring a little bit, uh, but not too much. So it's pretty good. So the gloss sort of like sits on top and keeps things feeling quite moist. Um, but the lip color still feels quite heavy. So again, I feel like this is an advanced version of that. It's a one step process and it doesn't feel as sort of plasticky and suffocating on the lips, but it still has that effect slightly. And for me, I think I've got 
better products in my collection anyway that last as long so can last 12 hours um, and that doesn't feel as heavy on the lips some people don't mind that sort of like acrylic paint stuck on sort of painted on feel as long as there's some moisture to it and if that's you you're going to love this because it is a more advanced long wear all in one step lip product um, but for me I actually prefer something that's probably a little bit drier um, but feels a little bit more creamier and lighter on the lips so for me I I will keep this I will use it the color is beautiful um, but I I didn't want to buy any more which says a lot in my opinion. When I was looking at the other shades, um, the thing that kept coming into my head that I would prefer to wear are actually the Tony Moly Shocking Lip Stains. Um, so I've got one that's probably a similar color to what I'm wearing and it does have a glossy finish. So these are lip stains. So they go on really bold, um, really shiny. And it also has that separating effect where the lip color stains the lips and then there's a gloss over the top that stays for a few hours. Um, so it's that same sort of separating setting thing, but because this is a stain, it actually stains the lips rather than a coating over the lips. So I would actually prefer to wear this and it lasts just as long. Also easier to touch up because um, if it starts to fade off in any area, because it is a lot thinner on the lips, um, you can actually reapply no problem. Whereas I feel like if you were to reapply this, it'd feel really chunky and heavy on the lips. And when I was looking at the coral shade and I'm like, do I buy this? Do I buy this? I just thought of the petal shade, which is a beautiful coral and offers probably more vibrancy to be fair. Um, but similar effect on the lips, shiny effect, but a more, more comfort in my opinion. So overall, I do like the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink lipsticks. I think um, it's a great addition to the range. I think this sort of product is long wear, sort of fairly comfortable, um, easy to apply product is definitely needed from all brands. I think, you know, especially with wearing masks and all that kind of stuff, I feel like it's very, very necessary. Um, but I just feel like for me, it doesn't tick all the comfort boxes, but it is often a trade off with comfort and longevity. And I was really surprised at how well this wore at the 12 hour mark. So if you're interested in something like this and you don't mind the sort of slightly heavier, sticky feel, um, this is definitely a range to check out. Just for me, it's not one I wanna delve into buying a lot more of, but I'm definitely happy with the one product that I have. So yeah, not life changing for me personally, but it might be life changing for other people. So there we go. I still like it. I think it's good. So let me know if you tried these and what you think about them and also what shades you've tried and your favorite one, because um, I've only tried one obviously, and I'm curious about how the nudes are. They're, I was tempted by some of the, like the more orange toned pumpkin-y nudes or some really pretty shades there. So they've got quite a large nude range, which is quite nice. I just, yeah, I don't know if it's going to last anywhere near as long as this, but um, let me know in the comments. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.